In this video, I will tell you how you can install the iOS 10 developers preview or the iOS 10 beta version on your iPhone, iPad and iPod touch. But I'll suggest you not to do this if your iPhone is your daily driver because, because it's a developer preview so it still has a lot of bugs. So if, if you have a spare phone like me, then you can do it. So for now, you can see that I am running on iOS version 9.3.2 and when I hit on software update, I don't get anything like I don't get the update for the iOS 10. It's still stuck at iOS 9.3.2 like you can see it over here. So I'll be telling you how you can easily get the iOS 10 developer preview and get to know the new features easily. So open Safari or any other browser and open the link from the description below and this site will open up. It will redirect you here automatically so you have to just hit on install and it will ask for your passcode and hit on install again and again then it will take some time to another pop-up will come out and keep hitting it and it will this time it will ask for restart so restart your phone just right now so let my phone restart at the moment so after your phone has restarted unlock your phone obviously now you will get the developers preview option so when you go to settings and then go to general and software update you will get the iOS 10 update so it might not open in the first go you might just get a blank white screen just like me so nothing to fear just go back and hit on software update again and this time you'll get the iOS 10 you'll get iOS 10 developer beta 1 so go ahead and install it it will ask for your passcode and And the terms and condition page will come up so just hit on agree because no one is gonna read it like always so after that is done so it will take some time to download and install sorry for the bad picture quality from now onwards to later part of the video so this is the ios 10 you have you can slide left for some new cards and for right you will get the camera and the home screen will give your passcode option or touch id they have removed the iconic side to unlock option And now I'll so this is the notification panel very clean and nothing and those stocks are not present and this is the new control center with new icons over there and in the home screen you saw there's a new icon called home I don't know what it does at the moment so let's just head on to settings and I, I suddenly saw that the CE logo has changed it looks very good but I wasn't able to click it in the first go anyway so the CD logo has changed over here we can see now let's go to general and about and check the version of the iOS we are running on. So it will show you 10.0. Let me zoom in and focus my camera so you can see it. Since it is iOS 10 so let us change the wallpaper to the iconic wallpaper of the iOS 10. So just go to wallpapers, settings and then wallpapers and then choose wallpaper and select the green one that is the iOS 10 wallpaper and set it as your home screen, lock screen or even both you can set it as per your wish. Now I'll be setting that wallpaper for the both and now here we have it. I'm running on iOS 10 which hasn't released yet even. It's the developer preview so thanks for watching. If this video helped you then please like it and if it didn't dislike please subscribe to my channel for more such videos and also check me out on other social networks and share this video with your iOS friends and I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, hasta la vista.